Okay, welcome to day 14 of surviving off of food storage. Tonight I'm going to make chicken, chicken and rice casserole. So, um, calls for a cup of celery, reconstituted, so I've reconstituted that. The other thing is it called for uh, two hard boiled eggs. I don't have hard boiled eggs, and so I made scrambled eggs, and I decided three scrambled eggs altogether, so three tablespoons of egg powder to six tablespoons of water. And I'm just chopping the chicken chunks just just to smaller pieces, not teeny or anything, just want them to get a little bit smaller. Okay. Great. I'm gonna throw in the celery and the eggs. and mix them together and our rice which is two cups of rice cream of chicken right so three-fourths cup of mayo right and then one teaspoon of lemon juice and one teaspoon of season salt. Season salt. All right. Okay. So then we just pour that over there, over the rice mixture, chicken and rice mixture. You know, as I'm looking at this, the original recipe does not call for any kind of a topping. I would probably. I'm going to cook it this way and see how it tastes. Okay, so I'm going with my gut feeling. And I'm gonna put the Ritz crackers crunched up over top of the um, chicken and rice casserole. So I just put it in a bag, take a can and smash it. I put a tablespoon of butter powder in with the Ritz crackers. And then I probably have about three tablespoons worth of shortening in there. Okay. Sprinkle it over top. That's going to make it yummy. I mean, it's yummy without too, but I think that just gives it that extra mmm flavor. We'll cook it at 350 degrees for 30 minutes.